Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick follow up on the Game Boy Advance backlit screen mod uh, that I had done a while back. I mentioned that I was having some difficulties with the brightness of the screen and also this weird kind of flicker or, or noise on the display um, after doing the mod. After I shot that video, when I, I went back into this thing, I took it apart, tried to figure out, you know, maybe the cable just wasn't seated correctly, that sort of a thing. I ended up tearing that ribbon adapter cable, the one you can kind of see up in the top through the plastic up here that goes between the main board and the new screen. One of the traces on the end of the cable got torn and that of course rendered the whole thing useless. I got a new ribbon cable off of eBay for 18 bucks. Just the ribbon cable. This was from a different vendor than what I originally got the kit from. And well, let's take a look. Yeah, it's, it's not really any brighter and it's really tough to see through the camera, but it's, it's just as noisy, sad to say. I'm at the point of saying that that's just kind of par for the course with this mod. I'm, but previously I said it was a worthwhile mod. If you're only ever going to play this thing in the dark, sure, go ahead and do that mod. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. If you, if you really, really love the form factor, the Game Boy Advance, the original one, and that it uses AA batteries, you know, take your chances, do the mod, maybe you like it. Maybe I just got a really bad kit. I'm not willing to drop the money into buying another screen. I just don't think it's worth it. I've already dropped between the price of the original kit and the replacement cable and the donor Game Boy. I'm a hundred bucks into this. And to be honest, I wish I hadn't done it. That said, I lucked out today. Let me show you what I got. So we were out running errands and I found this sitting on the shelf at Half Price Books. Um, it was in the glass case, just kind of hiding back in there. You couldn't really see very much about it. I, I looked and, well, okay, it's a GBASP, that's cool. Then I got to thinking, it's charcoal. That sounds kind of familiar. I decided, you know, let's let's ask an employee to open the case up. So I called her over, hey, can, can I take a look at this guy? Pulls it out, flip it over, check it out. AGS 101, 35 bucks for an AGS 101, and this one's in pretty decent condition, it looks like. Serial number, that's gone, that's pretty typical. The Game Boy sticker down here is kind of worn off, that's typical too but I'm not seeing a whole lot of wear. I mean, there's some on the corners. We'll take this thing out in a sec. But it's got the charger and 35 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. So this is kind of, <laughs> I guess maybe uh, Karma kind of giving me condolences for, uh, for this disaster, I suppose. You know, we'll, we'll throw you a bone, Colin. Here you go. Let's take this thing out of the bag. So the original charger appears to be in decent shape. It's actually in really decent shape. I'm not seeing any marks on the cable or anything. It's the, it's the legit one. Oh, they bought it from somewhere for 10 bucks. That's funny. Not too much in terms of scratches that I can see on the lid. That's typically a, a, a kind of a war zone up here. They get tossed around. These corners show some wear, but actually not too bad. A little chewed up there. A little chewed up on the hinge. Connectors back here look decent. Those work fine. Feel nice. Yeah, the connector in there looks clean. Oh, that's actually really decent. It needs to get wiped down. I mean, I, I need to take apart what I can and clean it out. There's some kind of crap in the speaker hole there, if you can see. There you go. I need to clean this thing up, but decent shape. See, she got a charger on her still. Yep. That looks infinitely better. Can you can you see that better? Oh, there we go. Here. Yeah. yeah. See, I've got two brightness. That's the one thing. Let's throw a game in here real quick. It might be hard for you to tell, but to my eyes, this looks infinitely better. None of that weird flickering or, or, or noise on the screen. Nice and bright, nice and sharp, really vivid color. This is, yeah, this is the right way to play GBA games. And you know, I don't, I guess I don't mind this playing position too much. Yeah, it'd be a little more comfortable if it was bigger, but eh, screw it, I don't care. I'll take that. 35 bucks. 
These are going at, at one probably in this condition on eBay with the charger would likely go for 50, 60 bucks. I think half price books just didn't know what they had. I think they just went, oh, it's a Game Boy Advance SP. Okay, well, 35 bucks is what we'll sell it for. Uh, they didn't realize there was a difference between the 001 and the 101. So I guess they're lost my gain or, or whatever, but yeah. So lest you think I forgot, no, I didn't forget about this guy. This one needs a little bit of love. Um, at some point in the future, we'll kind of take it apart, figure out what's wrong with it, why it doesn't want to turn on, get it fixed up. Ultimately, I've got slightly different plans for this one. I'm not necessarily going to sit and play it all the time. So that kind of gives me a different tack to take when it comes to getting this one up and running again. I'm still trying to get used to going with all the YouTube stuff here. So any comments you can provide as to what I can do better or what I'm doing wrong, I, uh, I really appreciate it as long as they're constructive and not just, you suck. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. If you want to see more, that subscribe button, you know, right down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and you'll get all the updates. I am trying to post at least once a week. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time.